Good morning, it's the 3rd of May, it's about half 10 and we're at Cushion Dunn and that's it, back there Oh, what's this? Oh, this is what I would... This is... It commemorates a local legend of love and tragedy. No that's, that's right, this is what we were looking for. I wouldn't have known about this, uh, to find this. This is the famous Phil Dew seat. It was erected by the Cushendal Gun Development Association in 2013. It commemorates a local legend of love and tragedy. It's actually uh, a true legend known as the Phil Dew story which has been told in this area for over 200 years. The tombstone 1803 associated with this story may be viewed in the graveyard of St Patrick's Church Craigie. Cushion done. And this is the Portland stone uh, add-on to this, uh, this seat. And we're going to search for the uh, the, f the the actual grave in uh, in St Patrick's graveyard because it, it's just a, tra a tale of tragedy uh, where a young fellow went off to he was he was due to be married and he went off to uh, on a last sailing trip and the full due I think refers to uh, a wage that you only got paid if you uh, uh, completed your voyage. He's going away for three weeks and, and he fell from the mast and his, his fiance was waiting for him and and whenever she heard she went out in the middle of the night and, and lay on his tombstone and, and, and died and they were only, at, they were only 18. So there, boy so that's great finding that. And we're just up above Cushion Dunn and we've arrived at St Patrick's Roman Catholic Church and we're going to be looking in here uh, into the graveyard for the Fundu Stone. It's here. There's a sign to it, look. The full full Jew Stone. Commemorating the death of uh, the, the sailor and the sad story of his fiance waiting for him. Now we're looking for a flat headstone. And we'll find the full juice stone here. It says Charles McAllister buried burying place here. Uh, Here lies the, the body, body of John, son. Uh, John, his son, died March eighteen o three, aged eighteen years, because he he was setting sail for a voyage of three week voyage out of Cushion Dun, and his fiance, fiance was waiting for him. We're not told the name of his fiance, and she. Uh, didn't know about his death, she was away uh, getting her trousseau and uh, he fell on the third day he fell from the mast and uh, he was brought home and his fiance arrived home with her trousseau and, and all her wedding uh, garments on a pony and trap and she was told and she, she disappeared that night and they found her lying on this exact spot. Uh, what does this say? Oh, why it says, um, your, ship's, your ship's love is more, more head and star, storm, star for a full Jew. Um, I haven't read that correctly, but you can you can actually make out the shape of a boat that she is reputed to have carved on the grave headstone as she lay dying. 
I mean, th this is this is totally amazing. Now, this is the Fulju stone, and if, uh, as I said before, the Fulju was supposed to be the the wages paid to a, a sailor uh, for his uh, voyage, and it was only paid on the final day, uh, and. Uh, he he was obviously wanting to make up some money before uh, he got got married, and this is the sad story. The two of them perished, two of them died. <laughs>